Did you just buy the MTW Unleashed and you don't know where to start? I'm Tyler. Let me help you unleash your MTW on this episode of What The Tech. Now that you've opened up your box and you've taken out all your stuff, let's go over it. We can start with the PTS Mag with Empty Mag Detection, your Quick Start Guide, which comes with different components that we can go over in a second, and of course, the MTW Unleashed. So, back onto our Quick Start Guide. Go ahead and open it up because it does have some very important information and can answer a lot of questions. Let's see what else we got. We have two separate O-ring kits. Looks like we have the Wraith X O-ring kit for your Wraith X. This also comes with a reg seat. Make sure to keep this clean. We also have a 332nd Allen key. This is used for the Wraith X to adjust the pressure. And it looks like you have your Inferno O-ring kit because the MTW Unleashed is powered by the Inferno Gen 2 engine. You'll also find the warranty card and your MTW patch. Now let's get to what you really bought. This is a 10 inch billet with our Wraith X with a 13 cubic inch, 3000 PSI air tank. So now let's go over what you'll need to actually get this to work. We need to fill up this air tank. So we're gonna have to remove it because we do ship it empty. And now with the power of editing, we have a full tank. And of course we've got to thread it back on. Be careful and make sure not to cross thread. That could be a bad day for everyone. Now, as you're threading this on, you're going to hear it pressurize the entire system. And it should stop. So, once the air tank stops screwing all the way in, we've noticed that's not really gonna fit my shoulder. There's a little wheel right here. So let's back the thread out. Rotate this to roughly where I need it. Maybe I'll even give it a look. Set it to the length that I want so it'll fit. Perfect. If you need to adjust your Wraith X, you can adjust your pressure on the Wraith X using the 332nd key from earlier and the screw here that you'll find somewhere on this band. Our next step is to plug in the battery. You'll find the battery down here in the pistol grip. Take out the pistol grip plug and go ahead and plug in your battery. You can tuck the battery away in here. Go ahead and close it up. Now everything should be secure. Now that we've got air and battery, switching it over into a firing mode, everything seems to work. I can't check it with BBs in here because I have safety precautions. One of the great things about our system is that we have empty mag detection. Whenever this mag or any of our MTW mags or associated ones has this stopper go up because you've ran out of BBs, it clicks a switch. What that switch does is stops the system. Whenever you reload a new mag, you then have to hit the bolt catch release. That resets the empty mag detection switch. One of the other features that you should know about is our hop adjustment wheel. You'll find it under our dust cover. One of our other functions, just like most other AR platforms, is your mag catch. Okay, I wanna teach you how to safely depressurize the regulator. So, still got air in the tank. We're gonna back it out until we hear a pop. Switch to semi, point it in a safe direction, or double check to make sure that our BBs are clear, but still point in a safe direction just in case, and give it a fire. Okay, so we're clear. Put it back in safe. Now we can remove the bottle. If you're not gonna be using your MTW for a while, you should go ahead and remove the battery. The battery will continually provide power to the trigger board and can damage the battery or the board over a long duration of time. So to take it apart, since we have the Wraith X installed, we need to take out these two pins at the same time. Instead of going up, since we have both pins out and the Wraith X, we're gonna pull out that way. Make sure to watch so you don't hit your feet too. And just like that, we've got it in two separate pieces. So here on the upper, you can already see your Inferno engine. And right behind your CNC feed tube, you can find your inner barrel assembly. To get to your Inferno engine to do maintenance, you're gonna to wanna to open this up very carefully. And you also wanna take out the engine retention clip. I'm going to hold the engine and remove this guy out. It can be a little snug. This engine retention clip has now released the engine and the inner barrel assembly. And now we can disconnect the contact yoke. Push everything back forward and then feed your contact yoke through. 
So now that we've looked over our upper receiver, let's go ahead and look at our lower receiver. This is where you can access your MTW Spartan Electronics and have better access to your Wraith X. Now that we've gone over both the receivers, let me show you how to put it back together. We're gonna to start by making sure that this hardpoint connector meets up with the Wraith X, and then slowly walk it in, making sure that our feed tube does not get damaged on the lower. Drop it in, push it back, pinch it, and there's our two body pins in. That covers everything on the Unleashed. If you have more questions, one of the greatest tools that we can give you is the Wolverine Knowledge Base. On the Knowledge Base, you can find all sorts of things like the MTW Owner's Manual, the Wraith X Owner's Manual, and even helpful tips whenever you run into a problem. And with that being said, we'll see you on the field.